Ah, it's a uh, Friday, Saturday bull crap. Both backyard ninja design, you know. Uh, anyways, uh, just real quick uh, on this stage, uh, you might notice that there's a, a sort of uh, overlay on the whole entire thing. I used uh, a big ass, well, I mean, a PNG the size of the stage, and I went and uh, painted in certain effects here or there, like, uh, you know, lighting or whatnot. Let me jump myself up. I don't know, like 150 or something. Yeah, just to give you, uh, like, you know, little shadows in some areas. And, uh, like, down below is a little more brown tone over it. Like, you know, here's a little light going through. I ran a mosaic filter on it to give it kind of like a chunky, blocky look. But, uh,. Yeah, I'll probably be doing this with all the stages, depending on what other effects may be present. Let's see, and now I'm going to jump here. This is the next section of the game. I didn't uh, work on that mini boss yet, because I've been doing a lot of character animating, and I was kind of wanting to break from it, so I just, you know, worked on the next tile set stage, and um, just minor animation stuff. Um, like in this place, uh, the sand. There'll be beetles in the sand. Uh, well, it's not sand; it's ash, actually. But uh, you get the drift. Uh, they uh, they'll pop up and uh, start fighting you if you uh, get down in there. And they'll you know harass you generally until you defeat them or get away. And there's also these uh, crumbly blocks. They will come back after a certain period of time. I'll stand here for a second, and I think it's like 10 seconds. I'll probably shorten that a little bit, but yeah, they just kind of, you know, reconstitute themselves backwards. And, you know, yeah, you make your way. Some of them are uh, crumbly blocks, some of them aren't. Um, up over here is uh, up way off into another uh, area. Uh, but uh, in the, you know, direction of the game, you won't be coming back there till you know, for a while. And up here is the entrance to the next part of the shaft. And, uh, I still got to do the last background part uh, for this, um, with some more uh, ashy smoke up there, and just some, you know, general... Uh, backgroundy stuff, probably some distant rocks or something, or or plants. I don't know. Uh, I haven't made up my mind yet. And uh, there also will be some uh, kind of snowing ash uh, falling from the sky. And, uh, and that will be that will pretty much complete the look of the stage. You know, depending on what kind of overlay I put on, if any at all. And uh, that's all for the shaft this week. Okay, Contrasaurus stuff this week. I worked on a uh, Brontosaurus, at least the first half, which is the uh, first boss of the game. Um, this is his, uh, you know, walk on and enter animation. Um, I cut two frames out of the walk cycle. I usually do a walk cycle, you know, with eight frames, uh, but we're uh, trying to save on time here. And uh, so this is what I come up with. And that's what he does. He just plods in. And, uh, and he gets to the action. Nope. Uh, this is his little short two-frame angry. He just gets an angry face uh, before he stomps. So he just, you know, does this. And let's see. And here's his actual... Uh, stomp. He just rears back and comes down, and uh, uh, they don't have that in the game yet. I assume there's going to be some screen shake, and I don't know if we're going to do special effects for it or not, but uh, that's what it is. Okay, and I'm working on this uh, cut scene uh, sequence uh, where they're getting ready to haul Contrasaur off to South America where he can do his uh, business. So, it's, uh, I still got, you know, more lighting and things to do with it. And, 
added you know, extra lighting like you know moonlight and uh, do the stars in the background and uh, that kind of stuff so probably I don't know I don't know probably a couple another hour or so who knows it just depends but uh, yep so that's the work for this week uh, so um, I'm going to uh, in the blog post that accompanies this I'm going to just put a couple pictures uh, from the shaft in case you don't want to, you know, see everything that's going on with it. So, you know, just a couple, you know, little pictures, little, you know, tastes. Uh, maybe small descriptions of each, I don't know. But uh, if you want to, you know, just keep the surprises for when it's actually finished, uh, you can just look at it that way or whatever. So, uh, yeah, it's up to you. But I'm going to do it anyways. So, okay, that's it for this week. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a good weekend, and uh, I'll do it again uh, next time.